I don't care how I feel. Yeah. I don't care if I feel happy or sad. It doesn't really affect what I do each day. I do the exact same things. I act the exact same way. I it does. I don't care. Yeah. I, it doesn't. I doesn't. I don't put weight to the significance of the emotion. So I always consider myself a happy person. But if I woke up and I was slightly less happy one day than another, it wouldn't affect anything I do, and I wouldn't put any relevance to it. I'm, yeah, hu yeah. I'm human, and that's life. But truthfully. It doesn't matter if it's getting a girl or it's making money or it's getting status. It doesn't matter what it is. As a man, we live in hyper competitive environments. I don't think enough men understand how competitive the world is. If you want a girl, you're competing against other men. You're not the only man who had the idea of getting that girl. There's no girl you're going to see and go, oh, I'll get that girl and didn't cross anyone else's mind. Everybody else wants her. You have to outcompete other men. You have to be as competitive as possible. You have to be as successful as possible in all realms. You have to be as good looking, as funny, as smart, as spontaneous, as interesting, as charismatic as rich as possible you need to try very hard to be your absolute best and as you become a better man you'll crack through different tiers of attractiveness and eventually you get to the top and you'll be able to have any girl you want but the truth is i have a lot of guys ask me similar to your question a guy will come to me and go how do i get a girl my bro you're a loser yeah but i know but how do i get a girl well you're a fucking loser you're a loser why are you asking me it's like saying how do i win a race with a push bike you're racing ferraris what do you want me to do yeah. there's only so much you can do there's only so hard you can pedal there's only so many tricks and and tips there's only so many game things you can say yeah. so many pickup lines if you're a loser it's going to be very very difficult and it's going to get harder and harder the game is rigged to become harder and harder for men it's not getting easier it's going the other way and if you're going to be on a racetrack and there's going to be ferraris there and you're going to be on a pedal bike or in a nissan you're going to get smoked that's the game. You have no. to up yourself. You have to improve yourself. I'm not going to lie to anybody here and say you don't have to improve yourself. You can stay a loser and, and get chicks because you can't. I don't understand how many humans function in the world today. I don't get people who don't think like me. I, I, I don't understand it. I'm like, well, then how do how have you survived this long? Life is hard. Life is difficult. I, maybe I've just been unlucky, which I don't believe in, but I've had so much trauma and bad events and negativity and stress and all these things that have happened to me, and I've used all of it to be monumentally su successful. If I wasn't that way inclined with the workload that God put on my shoulders, I'd just be in a ditch somewhere. Yeah. I would have killed myself by now. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how people are functioning. If you're not thinking like me and you're going through life with any other mindset, you've been extremely fortunate that God smiled on you and allowed you to sit around most of the time doing jack shit and you have yet to be punished for that. Yeah. I, I could never have lived that life. If yeah. I was a bit lazy or a bit, you know, or I was a bit of a snake or if I lied to people, I'd be dead by now. Yeah. Like, so a lot of these people are just absolutely and utterly blessed by God that they managed to go through life with such a non-competitive mindset and they still breathing like I, and I don't get I, I don't understand how people can think any other way yeah. I've spoken to dudes and like yeah you know I had a bad couple months why oh, my girl left me you've wasted months you've wasted months over some like you had you had the think of how much God loves you to have given you the the grace and given you the opportunity to waste months of human time over some chick like, talk about blessed head to toe. If I waste months, empires are going to collapse. I'm going to end up in a cell or dead if I waste months. I have things to do every Jewish single day. day. Yeah. I can't waste right. a second. Like, these people are just absolutely in infinitely blessed. And their mindset is a product of that because they're, they're spoiled children. Absolutely spoiled children. If you're going through life with any other mindset besides a hyper competitive one, where you are capable of competing with some of the most dangerous men on the planet in all their forms, me and my network, and also my competitors, mm -hmm. if you don't have that mindset, then you have to understand that you are spoiled. Yeah. You're spoiled by your reality because there's a whole bunch of people out here daily who fail. There are men out here who fail daily and they have yet to feel the true consequence for it. They fail to go to the gym when they know they should have gone to the gym. They fail because they forgot their keys and it took them 10 minutes to find them. They fail because they replied to a question they got sent on WhatsApp the wrong way. They fail because they didn't smile when they were supposed to. They didn't say please and thank you to that person who helped them. They fail because they didn't say hi to that girl who's looking at them out the corner of their eye. They just fail perpetually. They go through life missing every opportunity and just failing, failing, failing. And somehow we've built a society which is so soft and God is so giving and so graceful that they still have a place to eat and a, a somewhere to sleep yeah. and they're still surviving that that shows how nice God is yeah. because it, it, before this society truthfully if you were that level of failure yeah. you would be dead survival of the fittest, it's survival of the fittest. Yeah. and none of these men out here are fit yeah. their mindset isn't fit their reality isn't fit they're, they're absolutely they're failures they're, they're failures yeah. and they're just failing every single day I'm like oh but you know what tomorrow I'll go to the gym yeah. you've been failing your whole 
own life. That's all you've done is fail. And then you sit and wonder why people like me absolutely and utterly outcompete you. It is so easy to become a top tier male in the world today because the competition is so ridiculously low. There are 2% killers like me and everybody else amateur head to toe amateur they can't even pay attention to anything they can't try anything they're amateurs and it's 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 really mind-blowing to me because i've tried with all of my computational power to imagine having a mindset different to mine and i just can't see a reality worth having i can't see a reality worth living i can't see how you're going to build a life worth experiencing if you have any other mindset i i can't see it yeah I've never met somebody with a fantastic life who did not completely and utterly believe in themselves. I've never seen somebody massively succeed and they didn't believe in themselves, ever. I've never seen somebody who just allows life to happen to them and become blown off course by some sadness, end up doing massively monumental and important things. I've never seen it. It's never happened. It does, and it's never going to happen. If I'm unhappy with something and I'm uncomfortable with something, that's I it. fix it. Yeah. That's endless motivation, which I don't truly believe in as a concept, but that's endless fuel for the fire. Right. If I was unhappy with something about myself, regardless of what it was, I would be able to take all of that discomfort and turn it into endless energy to get the problem oh, fixed. Yeah, exactly. But these people seem it's to okay some to be unhappy. Yeah, well these people seem to sit and say I'm really un I'm really unhappy with X but then stay doing X. So I don't believe yeah. they're truly actually unhappy. What you'll notice if you live life long enough is that somebody will sit and say to you, I'm unhappy being a loser. You yeah. say, why are you a loser? I just sit at home, play video games seven days a week. And you're like, okay. And maybe three days of the week, they're unhappy doing that. Yeah. And that's the time they email you and that's the time they want to make a change. But four days of the week, yeah. They don't really, it doesn't really bother them. Yeah. It doesn't really bother them. Because if it, if it bothered them seven days a week, guess what? They would fix it. Correct. Yeah. So I have very little sympathy for people. And that's not because I'm not a nice person, but it's because I've been so hard on myself and I've been through so many things that were difficult. And I've been through so much pain and trauma myself. Some of it self-inflicted, some of it given to me by God to make me a better person. But I've been, I've been so difficult on myself, it's very hard for me to look at somebody who's refused to be difficult on themselves and see them as my equal or feel sympathy or pity for them. Why would I feel pity for somebody who took the easy route when I took the hardest possible route? Yeah. I took the hardest possible way to be the man I am and you were too big of a and now you want me to feel sorry for you? I don't feel sorry for you. Yeah. I don't feel sorry for these people. And uh, because as a man, you can be anything you decide you want to be. That's the beauty of being a male. You can build your character completely from the ground up, just like a video game. Every single thing about me that people respect, I built. I was not born a world champion kickboxer. I was not born this intelligent or in, uh, intellectual. I was not born this rich. I was not born this strong. I was not born this confident. I was not born this interesting. I was not born this charismatic and humble and gorgeous and tall and strong and sexy. I was not born none of these things. I became these things myself. So I deserve all the spoils of war. And anybody who decides they don't want to work hard enough to become those things, then they deserve to sit and accept they're my inferior. Yeah. That's, their, that's their problem. So you talk a lot about purpose. And what is your thoughts as to, do you have like a, an exact answer as to why we are created as humans and why we are here? Like what is the purpose of life? Why have we been given life? I think we're here to struggle and to learn. I don't think we're here to be happy. That's why when we keep going back to the happy argument, I've always found that kind of frustrating and annoying. Yeah. And someone goes, oh, but I want to be happy. Why? Why? Like, I, why do you want to sit there and laugh? Like, like you're, you were happy your entire childhood. That's your happy days. You're allowed to be happy as That's a kid. Right. It's all over now, right? You, you're a man. You have responsibilities. I think we're here to do important. Provide, yeah, provide, provide, protect. And we're also here to do important things. And important things are going to be difficult. And they're going to be hard. And you're going to get frustrated. But that's what gives you purpose. Yeah. I don't see anyone who's chasing happiness. I think that's a very feminine frame. I understand why some women just want to be happy. I think I don't know the how it feels to be a girl because I'm not one. But no. in my experience, I know women who just want to be happy. Yeah. Girls just want to have fun. They're Fine. Have but you're a man, right? And if you're a man, then it's absolutely not really a different experience of life. I, I think we're here to struggle. I think we're here to endure pain. Yeah. I think we're here to just see how hard we are to kill. I yeah. think that going through terrible things and living through them and, mm. and coming out the other side is one of the most fantastic things about being human. Uh, I think that it's, it's almost like once you understand what life is really about, there's no emotion which isn't enjoyable. The only emotion that, the only emotional state which can be seen as detrimental is feeling nothing at all. But if you're sitting at home and you're feeling truly heartbroken, at least you're feeling something, right? Least, and, yeah. and, and I think that's the whole part of being human. I don't, I, I think we're here to struggle. I think we're here to go through pain.